I get a lot of questions on my page about the guns and gear that I use for three gun competition. I'm going to do a little series of videos, show you guys um, a little bit more detail about those things. Today's video is going to be about my shotgun loading equipment. I use the Carbon Arms Twins load system. You can get it set up in a couple of different configurations, but I'm going to give you a closer look at how I have it here. The one that I have on my belt right now is called the Backbone 24. 24 because it holds 24 shells. I think it also comes in a, um, a 12, a 16, and a 24 on the website. Um, when you go on there to order, the, you choose the spacing and all that stuff. This is called the quad spacing because they're close together like this. So if you wanted to, you could take four shells at a time and, and do a quad load, or you can just take two. This fits a lot of shells in a small amount of space, which is good for me because I don't have a lot of real estate on my belt. Um, but this is the one that I use the majority of the time. I also have a Pinwheel 10, which holds 10. Um, this one's available, I think, in like a 4, 6, 8, and 10 on the website, something like that. You guys can check that out and see. But I have them both set up on um, the Safari Land ELS clips. This is the Safari Land belt, so it's easy to swap them out. So I just had this one on. Now I can just throw that one on if I have a, uh, a lighter shotgun stage. Or during the Pro Series, we don't do a lot of shotgun loading, so I use this one a lot. Um, but it's, it's cool to have the versatility based on what type of match I'm shooting. Now I have loaded 14 shells and I'm going to kind of show you how to grab the shells and then I'll put it all together with, with actually loading the shotgun. Um, like I said before, I, I usually load two, so I'll show you how to grab two and then it is an option to grab four shells and do a quad load from this setup and I'll show you that too, even though that's not my area of expertise, but I'll attempt to show you that. Um, you're going to work your way from your left to your right on the belt. Obviously, you can't grab these over here, so you just work across like that. Um, the first set of shells here, you're going to come in with your, your fingers. You can kind of grab in, the, in that first knuckle right there. You don't want to try to grab it into your palm and, and get like a death beer can crushing grip on it. Just grab it in the, in the first knuckle here. So you come in, your fingers go around the back of the shells. I kind of place my thumb over the top and then just rotate it away from the clip like that. So at this point, you can see the position of the shell in my hand. Hopefully you guys can see that and it's, it's close enough and everything, but um, you don't want to grab it down in your hand like this because once you get to the actual loading part, that's going to kind of hang you up a little bit and I'll, I'll show you that when we get to it. Um, now to grab four, it's the same kind of concept. Come around with your fingers, thumb goes over the top, rotate away, and now you've got four shells in your hand for a quad load. I'm going to actually uh, take this to the shotgun now so you can see the next step in the process. Try to get a good angle with the camera. Now I'm going to show you how to feed the Benelli. I've got my trusty M2 here. Uh, there are a couple different options as far as strong hand, weak hand, uh, the position of the shotgun. I'm going to show you what I do. Uh, it's a, a strong hand and I'm going to load two at a time. I might attempt to show you a quad load. Um, we'll, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I start the shotgun here. I'm shooting. Time to reload. I'm going to flip the shotgun up and put it here on my shoulder. Um, I usually still hold right here and just rotate my arm around. It kind of depends on how long your arm is. You might have to actually grab the top there, um, but I just kind of rotate around like that. I'm going to take my loading port and put it down here near my shells. Just a shorter transition from my shell to the loading port. And then just like I showed you before, you're going to take that first row of shells, pluck those off the belt, and you're going to take the bottom of the first shell and you're going to use that to push your lift gate down here in the front of your lift gate. So push that down, and then at this point my fingers come out of the way and I just trap the shells up against the receiver, and I'm just going to press forward and I want to follow through. So you don't want to jab it in with your thumb, but just a one smooth motion, follow through all the way forward, um, pet the kitty. That's what we're doing, just pet the kitty. Now I'll grab the next set of shells, same thing. Rotate off the belt, push down the front of my lift gate, trap the shells, and follow through. Now I'm going to go ahead and load 10 and just kind of show you the process start to finish. I'm not going to go super fast. Uh, it's more about demonstrating the technique than about how fast I can go. Uh, but this is what it will look like start to finish. Go 
ahead and give you a demonstration of the quad load also. It's not something that I've practiced a lot or use in competition yet, but it is very useful um, and it is something that you can do with the same setup that you have here with the twins with the quad spacing. So you start out, same, same type of positioning with the gun. You're just going to grab four shells instead of two. First row goes in, second row goes in. Again, two. I hope that answered some of the questions that you guys had about my shotgun loading technique. Uh, I will go into a little bit more detail in another video about the shotgun itself and what modifications have been done to aid in the loading process. And like I said, I'm going to do more videos on some of my other gear and guns. If you have something specific you'd like me to talk about or questions, um, post that in the comments section and I'll try to make a video, whether it's about a specific gun or a technique or a piece of equipment that I use. Also, um, James Casanova, who is a, a member of the Noveski shooting team with me, is the co-owner of Carbon Arms, who makes the, the shotgun stuff that we looked at today, um, and a whole bunch of other stuff too. Their, their website is carbonarms.us. I'll put that in the info section. He is going to field your questions about the, the video that we made today. So if you have a question about something that I did or said regarding the, the twins system, post in the comment section and we'll make a follow-up video for you and we'll directly address those questions. All right, thanks for watching and happy free gunning.